In January, we had 252 total. 50 were uh, Rio Tinto employees and 202 were contractors. And then in February, we had 226 total local employees and 46 were Rio Tinto and 180 were contractors. Now that trended down because of our contractors and the short construction season that we have. So during the winter months, construction activity slows and the contractors go and do other work somewhere else until the weather warms so we can begin construction again. So that's why that trended down. Does anybody have any questions about local hire? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in early April, I understand that 11 employees were laid off and 20% um, of the contractors Right, that will be reported during the next reporting period. April's numbers, yeah. It's a little misleading. Well, you still have to look at just that time period. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, how many of, would you say of the contractors are from Marquette, Barrington County, and, and thereabouts? as opposed to people who came in, say, from Wisconsin, set up their trailers and worked for a while and then left. I mean, what, what percentage of them are probably really locals who would be working elsewhere in this area otherwise? Yeah, we, we haven't been able to identify that with our contractors. We can tell you that 86% of our Rio Tinto employees come from Tier 1. But it's really hard to be able to tell with our contractors. Yes, could you want to say something? Well, I was just going to say that those numbers are local hire data. So that's um, the numbers that we are getting reported from the contractors that they're local, but they're not breaking it down to the data that we can for our actual employees. So they're saying they know what our definition of local is, and they're telling us that, but they're not breaking it down. So that's what we have So you have perhaps contractors from Wisconsin who come in and hire local people here? Yes. Right. So right. It would be nice to know a little more about the details because it affects the actual economic benefits of the community if we have a little more detail on that. Yeah, and it's, sometimes it's difficult, as Jessica was saying, to know exactly where each individual is from. Um, the one thing we do do is talk to our contractors. For example, we had Bolt up on site two years ago Bolt also built Bell Hospital. So we asked, well, when you built Bell Hospital, what percentage of your workforce was from Market County? And they said 91%. So they carried that on to the native for the rest of the mine site when they built our original service facilities. It was a very high percentage. Okay, any other questions on local hire before I call for your vote? Yeah. This is, just deals with the percentages, basically, of people not to not really the number of people that we had expectations to be hired. You know, a lot of people might have thought, well, they'll hire four or five hundred people. This is more or less breaking it down to percentages. So. Yes. So these are percentage percentages of our total workforce. Okay. Well, that slide was actual numbers. Right. Yes. This slide is actual numbers. 